John Paul here. Sorry for the lack of content. Uh, I've been kind of sick these past couple weeks. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is right up there in that corner. Yeah. If you like the video that's going to be coming up, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to further your support with the channel, I would like to invite you all to check out my Patreon. So today, we're going to be going over my tutorial from a while, my video from a while back of Tears Don't Fall. And here's the tutorial for it. So the way we start off, the tuning is going to be in drop C tuning, which is going to be C, G, C, F, A, D. And the chords that we're going to be using is going to be E minor, F major 7, F major 7 extended, and they're just going to be in various places, sliding up and down, and we'll go through it. So the way we start off is we're going to start with the intro, which to full speed sounds like this. So 50% sounds like this. So the way that we start off, we're going to start off with our pointer finger on the 7th fret of the D string and our, <clears throat> our ring finger on the 10th fret of the G string. So we're going to go 7, 7, 10, 7, 7, 10, 11, 10. Then we're going to move the whole structure to the 8th fret of the A string and the 11th of the D string. And then we're going to go, and we're going to slide the whole position up, two frets a piece. And we're going to go <clears throat> 10, 12 on the D string, and then 10, 12 on the G string. So to that, it's going to sound like this. And then back. So once again, eight, uh, 7 and 10, to 11 and to 10, then slide the position up to 8 and 10, and then 10 and 12, and then 10 and 12, 10 and 12, back and forth. It's kind of hard to explain, it shows that tutorials are not that easy, but that's the way that sounds. So once again, a full speed sounds like this. So that's the intro for Tears Don't Fall, my rendition of it. Now we're gonna go into the pre-verse, into the verse, which the chords I'm gonna be using is F major seven extended, which means that I'm barring the first three strings Adding, <clears throat> adding my ring finger to the G string on the fifth fret, and adding my pinky to the sixth fret, uh, sixth fret of the B string to sound like that. So we go like this. And the strumming is down up, 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 down up. Then we're gonna slide up a whole step. Another, and another. Pause. Back down. And the way we transition from the pre verse to the verse. We're just gonna open up the string and go to the A minor. And now we're at the verse. To the F major 7, slide the position up, two frets, A minor 7. To F major 7, slide up two whole frets, back down to the A minor 7. To the F major 7, slide on up, to A minor. Major 7, slide on up a whole step, then we get into the pre 
chorus, which is the part that goes, Would she help me if I called her name? Would she hold me if she knew my shame? And for that part, it's the same chords, the E minor, F major 7, sliding on up, which in turn becomes a G, which is this note right here, which just becomes into a chord shape. And the way that you basically play that chord shape is looking from this direction. Looks like this. It's sliding up. Then we get into the chorus, which is the same chords that we use for the previous. Your tears don't flow. And ladies and gentlemen, the verse, second verse and the pre-chorus, they're all the same throughout the whole rest of the song. Only part that changes that I made up on my own was my own little, I guess you could say, jam session that I did throughout where the solo section would be, which see if I can frankly remember the way it sounds. It sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> That's how you play my rendition of Tears Don't Fall by Bo Fivanta.